Hey, hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. You're watching one of my Chromebook tips and tricks video. And today I'll talk about the recent Chrome OS upgrades you should have by now on your Chromebook. So on this channel, I'm always trying new and a variety of videos and I do have some Chromebook videos. So if you're watching this channel for the first time, thank you for watching. And if you are one of my subscribers, thank you for coming back. So if you notice that, you know, my voice sounds a little bit different and rough, uh, this is due to the fact that I have cold, so it's coming to my voice. So the name of this update or upgrade is Chrome OS 88 Upgrade. So Chromebook put through about 19,000 total changes through these updates. And I'm going to, you know, go over some of the highlights today, which you need to know. Uh, but I'll not go over everything because that's not possible. And then, you know, I'm just going to sh uh, show you some of the changes which you can you know change on your chromebook as well so the first thing you need to do if you have uh you still have the old version then you have to upgrade it to the new version what happened on my chromebook that uh, the chromebook didn't upgrade to the latest version which is uh 88.0.43 to 4.109 so i had to do it manually and you can do the update manually by going to the settings and then about chromebook os so which i'm going to show you right now so you can go to the settings from here and if you look on the left you will see that about chrome os which is going to be right here so click on that and then here you're going to see a version which i have right now 88.0 which is the latest one but if you don't have that if you're still uh, you know looking at something like 87 and then some numbers that means that you still have the old version so you can upgrade that by going to check for updates and then once you click there then you it's you know it's going to check it and then it's going to start like you know installing the new updates that's how you can upgrade it to your chromebook so the first thing the chrome os 88 or the new version of chrome book updates has is the screen saver so in the past chromebooks didn't have any option to have screen savers but now you can have that and in order to do that you have to actually first you know check whether you're on the sleep mode or not or, and you can do that by going to the settings again which is on the lower right and then click on the settings or wheel button so if you do that then you're going to go to device from here so which is going to be right here and then if you go to device and then you're going to the power option which is going to be right here so click on the power option then make sure that you know you have these two settings uh, uh, as sleep instead of you know turn off display or keep display on so if you have that then go back to the screen before and then we're going to go to personalization and then we're going to go to screen saver so what you can do personalization is going to be right underneath the power option and then go to screen saver which is right here now you can see that it's enabled because i turn it on uh, so if you don't have it on so you have to turn it on and then here you're going to see two options how you know your screen saver uh, saver should come from or where it should come from so you have the option of google photos and art gallery so you can choose one of those so let's say you want to choose art gallery then it's going to give you like you know where you want to pick them from for example from this set of pictures or the featured photo photos so you can just choose what you want or another option you have is that if you want google photos then you can just you know go to google photos and then it's going to show you all your uh, Google Photos or Google Photo Album, then you can just choose it from there. So you have to just choose from where you want them from. So that was a very important change Chromebook has. Now let's move on to the next uh, update, and I'm not going to go over all of them to show you. Much better if you use your, you know, uh, Chromebook to access remote work or another desktop. And another uh, important update is that a Chromebook now has a magnifier. So if you are looking at a web page or something and you want to make it like, you know, 
uh, bigger or magnified then you have to you have that option now and in order to go to that options you have to go to settings advanced accessibility and full screen magnifier so for example uh, right now we are at settings and then let's go to advanced which is going to be right here so if I click on it then you're going to go to full screen mode from here so let's take a look here so we have advanced then you have to go to accessibility which is right here and I'm going to just move this a little bit and then you're going to go to uh, manage accessibility features which is going to be right here and then from here you're going to go to enable screen magnifier which is right here so if you do that then you're going to see that you know you're going to get a magnification screen right away and you can actually have the option of make it two times or even bigger so you can do that let's say you can see that the whole screen is magnified because uh, I'm just like you know you can see that you know that this is magnified many times or two times and then this picture is much closer and you can see that you know everything is big uh, so if you want to get rid of it then you can just you know go to accessibility from clicking on your setting buttons and then just you know turn off this full screen magnifier option and then it, it goes back to normal so what happens here that uh, I tried other buttons but looks like you know there's no easy option to get out of magnification uh, but if there is ju just leave a comment uh, below uh, because I couldn't find any other option than going back to that magnification option and you know switch it off which is uh, right here so just let me know if you find uh, you know something uh, easier than what I showed you uh, for example just you know going back and forth here next one I'm going to show you is that uh, web authentication so Chromebook can now be used as a second authentication factor so for example uh, you know you should set all your like you know uh, password or devices to look for second authentication to protect you from identity theft or scamming and Chromebook has the capability under the new uh, after the new uh, Chrome OS up upgrades uh, to use Chromebook as a second authentication factor so basically if you're logging to uh, your device or a browser or you know let's say your bank account information or something then you can use Chromebook as a second authentication factor uh, instead of sending it to your phone or to your other device so this is done by, via web authenticator API and the address is web webautn.io so this is going to work as a you know API and then uh, it's not share or it doesn't share your uh, pin or fingerprint with other uh, parties where you're trying to log in so this is something new and uh, in the past uh, we didn't have this one so just move on to the next one so the next important upgrade is that now you do have a camera folder so whenever you're taking a picture or doing like in you know, a video recording or web recording for your uh, Chromebook then everything is going to be saved a new folder called camera so in order to see that uh, what you have to do just open your uh, file manager and if you go to your files and then if you take a look under my files then you're gonna see that you know there's a folder called camera and anytime you're taking pictures or video then it's going to be located here so it's much easier to find this way uh, than in the past where it's just putting everything all together with other you know downloads or other files and the next feature I'd like to talk about is better auto correction so now Chromebook has a better auto correction than before uh, with a visual indicator of what's been corrected and it's easier to see and understand and it has improved uh, you know user interface of uh, the auto corrector so basically if you're you know uh, turning on the auto correction on then you're going to have a much better understanding of what's being corrected and what are the options but in this video I'm not going to go into details uh, I could make another video on just how to turn this on but uh, these are the all basic you know uh, features or updates of the new Chrome system uh, Chrome operating system Chrome OS 88 you need to know so again if you don't have that yet uh, then just you know do it manually by going to the settings and then about uh, Chrome OS and then upgrade 
and then uh, if you see that you know you have 87 that means you still have the old one so you have to upgrade to the new one which is starts with 0 0.88 and uh, this one has uh, lots of you know exciting features uh, the one I most like which I showed you in the past is that the Chromebook uh, screen savers which Chromebook didn't have before and it's going to definitely you know I'm going to be using that uh, as my number one uh, feature on my Chromebook from now on so thank you for watching this video if you like what you see please give like or even if you don't like uh, you know uh, put a dislike uh, and on this channel I do have a variety of videos and I'm not you know uh, I'm always trying new new videos and new ideas so thank you for watching and come back for something exciting and new I'll see you shortly